Hello and welcome to the 63rd video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. I realized in the last video that made a, a, there was a small error printing the score, it was printing 0, 0 and it had something to do with the search controller I think breaking out before best, um, before the end of say actually completing a depth and I've just set at the top of search position here a var called score and now we set score equal to the result of alpha beta and then after this break I then set best score equal to score and the score then comes out correctly when we call update DOM stats at the bottom. The other thing I realized was this score mate in so many moves here was actually slightly incorrect because it's correct for during the search if the engine finds say a mate in three but obviously when it's finished the search it makes its move so it's now just mate in two so I've stuck a minus one inside some brackets here like this as well. So just quickly to show that that working before we come into this video if I take this mate in three position set the position up and give the engine let's say four seconds to think and you'll see on the right hand side in the console here it's got its mate in three now it says it's made the move queen to g6 and it is indeed now a mate in two moves here so that seems to be working okay so for this video then we've just got really a little bit of cleaning up to do um, what I want to do is I want to get the take back button working and also the new game button working both of which as you can imagine aren't particularly very difficult one of them is a very very inefficient sort of hack so what we'll do first of all is we'll deal with the take back button then so we use our normal jQuery selector just to select the item and it was called take button I think and the take button we just set the click for clicking the take button and close off the bracket because confusion reigns for me otherwise so I could function and then brackets and then some curly brackets and define what we want this function to do and what we'll say is when we're trying to take back obviously we actually hatch actually have some moves to take back so we'll say that if game board dot his play is greater than zero then what we'll do is we'll take a move obviously because we wanted to take back oops semicolon and then just set the game board and this is essential as well dot play now equal to zero just ready for the next search and the other thing we're going to do now is we're going to and this is where it's a little bit of a hack we're now going to call this set initial board pieces function here like this so essentially what we're doing rather than moving the piece back I'm just going to set the board again because that happens instantly in the blink of an eye you don't really notice it and if you think about it it was already a fair bit of code just to have to write in the make user move function here um, sorry not make user move so to make to move the GUI, GUI piece on board there was a bit of code here with the castling etc etc and because the performance doesn't really matter when we're actually taking back a move I've just to set the board up new each time we take the move back so like I said it's a bit of a hack and a lazy way of doing it but um, it does what's required just for this uh, simple little program the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to get the new game button and we're also then obviously here going to make a click for this as well in fact I'm just going to copy this uh, code here and then delete the code out in the middle and this is also an extremely simple function obviously as well simply inside here we just call our new game and we call that then with our start underscore FEN because we want our new game to be starting with the start FEN so now if I just go back to the GUI here then and refresh and wonder how many typing errors I've made with that simple code, bring up the console and now if I just um, start a game against the engine leaving it to think for a second and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take back now a couple of moves and now you can see you don't actually see the resetting of the board but things are indeed working okay and now you can play. Now if I just take one, back move, one move back here and let's say make a move here you'll see now the engine starts thinking as white because the user's moved and therefore um, it's now set, selected in the search start function to think as white and again that's because we're not using the game controller player side and com engine side variables um, it's doing it due to it's simply told after the user's made a move it's your turn to search off you go so that's it then for that bit and the only thing to do now is to click the new game button and as you can see that resets then everything to the game start position 
And in terms of the series, that's really the end now. The GUI is working. The one button that isn't working on here is the Flipboard, which is a slight pain to implement, but if you follow the series so far, it shouldn't be uh, too tricky to do. And the other thing I have on the proper GUI is I have the F current FEN position being described at the bottom of the board. Again, that's almost a reverse of the set FEN to the board function. It just works the other way around giving us an FEN string which is updated at the end every time a move is made or a new game is set. And the other thing I have in the official um, GUI online is an opening book so that the engine doesn't play exactly the same move at the start of the game and that it, that it also plays relatively sensible lines and it's only a very small opening book. And what I would say is if you get to the end of this video and you want to see how those features are implemented then um, I'm quite happy to carry on with the series, but for now I would say this is uh, end of series and sort of the makings of a very simple GUI, and if you want to expand on this or make it look a lot better than it already does, which isn't very difficult, then obviously then I think you've got a fairly sound basis in terms of the chess engine itself of uh, giving it a go. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.